And first at 11 tonight, three women and their first 24 hours of freedom. And tonight, we're learning more about their decade in captivity and the missed warning signs that could have ended their horror years earlier. Right now, three brothers remain behind bars in what is arguably one of the most torturous crimes in recent memory. All three women are out of the hospital tonight. They've all been taken to an undisclosed location, and this comes as other well-known kidnapping victims are in town tonight. Autry Godfrey live in our newsroom monitoring the investigation and she has reaction from another high profile victim as well. Atria. Allison, investigators are picking apart the home that neighbors say they were never allowed inside. And almost fittingly tonight, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children hosted a Hope Gala. One former victim there says that these women face a long, tough road ahead. The flimsy screen door that barricaded the three missing women into their own private prison was removed from the home of suspected kidnapper Ariel Castro. As it came down, the signs of celebration went up. Balloons and yellow ribbons wrapped around the home of Amanda Berry, the brave mom who made the daring escape. Everyone's in tears, you know, and trying to keep it all together. We're trying to be strong and supportive for her. Surreal celebrations also for Michelle Knight and Gina De Jesus, both of whom disappeared a decade ago. Yeah, I got to see her yesterday. It was so freaking awesome to see my sister. I'll make sure I'm like anywhere she goes, I'm going to sit there and make sure that she gets there and back home. The three women taken in apparent separate abductions now free. Three men behind bars. Castro's two brothers, O'Neill and Pedro, are also under arrest for the kidnappings. Police say there were never any suspicions about the Cleveland home, but neighbors tell a different story, including seeing a naked woman in the backyard two years ago and hearing screams coming from inside. It's a chilling experience most can't comprehend. Comprehend, Katie Beers lived it. It's going to be very difficult because they've missed out on the key years of their lives. Kidnapped at 10 years old, Beers was chained to a box in an underground dungeon and sexually abused for 17 days before being found. In the district tonight, she revisits the worry of being forgotten that she's certain these three women shared. You definitely go through an area where you lose hope that people are still looking for you, especially over that length of time. In my case, I had access access to a TV, I saw the news coverage on me, so I never lost hope that they were looking for me. I was afraid that the longer the case went on, the less news coverage there would be. Now, police have it confirmed, but they do believe that one of the three men is the father of Amanda Berry's six-year-old daughter, Jocelyn. Investigators say they plan to start questioning the Castro brothers tonight and expect charges to be filed within the next 36 hours. Live in the newsroom, Andrea Godfrey, ABC 7 yeah. News.